Hi, it's Jeff. And Denise from MouseDepths.com. I was at Epcot yesterday to check on uh, the progression of the Epcot Flower and Garden Festival, which actually starts on March 7th, almost two weeks away. Um, I wasn't expecting to see as much as I did. Uh, topiaries are up and the flowers are looking gorgeous. Uh, obviously not everything's up, but... Uh, yeah, I was not able to make it uh, yesterday to uh, Epcot, so this is very, very nice to see it all myself, too. The nice thing about living here is you can see it's two weeks away, and yet uh, guests are already getting a preview of the festival, and it's almost like getting, he for us locals, an extra couple weeks of the festival, and uh, and that's pretty exciting. You can see butterflies and, uh, and flowers. Roses. Uh, roses. And that's the Imagination Pavilion. Beautiful. It looks like a beautiful day. And there's the uh, Bambi's Butterfly Tent. And you can see Bambi and Thumper and Flower inside already. I, again, I, I really like this location uh, that started last year better than the, uh, the one they've had for many previous years. It's a much more beautiful uh, interior. The other one was, was much smaller. And uh, last year they had a waterfall in here and the characters... It's, it's a beautiful tent. And there's the playground. This is one of the playgrounds. I think there's three. Okay. And this one's near, closest to Imagination uh, on the walkway to World Showcase. And it's actually going to be a pretty big playground. And you can see uh, butterflies in the flower, flower quilt. Lots of butterflies. That Lots seems of butterflies. That seems to be the theme of this area. And the floating plants, which I really like. Just, Always so colorful. It is. And this is um, our sixth year uh, for Mouse Steps covering the Flower and Garden Festival. Although we've both attended the festival. Oh, for many, previously. many years. But taking pictures and posting them and uh, all that good video. stuff. In Canada. Victoria Gardens looks great. It's, it's clearly not quite ready for the festival yet. It's always beautiful all year round. Um, but those yellow flowers look especially amazing right now. And I bet everything smells really good. It does. Although, uh, when I came out of one of the bathrooms, it smelled like copper tone. And there's a <laughs> lots of copper tone the other day, yesterday. Um, that was a butterfly. There's uh, Sleeping Beauty, Princess Aurora, and Prince Philip. And my favorite, uh, the the pink... Um, what are, what are the they? tree? Uh, I don't know. There's a yellow one and a, um, pink ones. Um, that are just blooming at this time of year, and obviously they're they're just about done with their their peak season. But yeah, every year, right at the beginning, we almost uh, always before the festival is when we get our best uh, photos of this and, area. Right there's a yellow one at the Imagination Pavilion, and uh, I there used to know the, is the type. five fingers, unlike the mouse who uh, who only has the four fingers. Well, so Mickey Mouse isn't human. There's Cinderella and Prince Charming, and. Uh, they look great, really great, as always. And this is their same location as last year, as is uh, Sleeping Beauty and Prince Philip. The flower cam. Looking up, I like different, looking from at different viewpoints. You can see that pink tree in the background. France has some, it seems to have some extra flowers out, but... Uh, I don't see the fragrance. Uh, the fragrance bottles. No, not yet. And the and fragrance garden is, uh, is still empty for now but that will i'm sure that'll fill in in about two weeks this is morocco and, and I've, I've not seen those two those two things before. i know he calls them things but balls on a stick yeah they're actually very interesting when you get close to them i don't think you you kept that in here um and here is uh the u.s and i'm not sure what is going to go in here but they've already started with the flowers this is sort of in the back area next to the shop as you said, they did recycling last year. A former fountain in Italy. And there's Lady and the Tramp back in their uh, location. This is where they've been most of the last few years. And all the guests seem to want to touch Lady's hair yesterday. Uh, I don't blame them. I've never done it myself, though. Ah, it's, a, it's a good location for them. It is a nice location. It's a great topiary set. And this is a change from previous years. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, right along the water. It's, a, it's definitely a great location with Spaceship Earth in the background. And this is uh, right at the beginning of Germany, so it uh, fits into where they normally are. 
it's just uh, much much easier to see them. It's not always good for as good for pictures because the light was coming uh, from from the back, so it was hard to get get them as well as I'd like. But it seems like they videoed really well, and they're Snow White. And there they are from a you can see uh, America in the background. The Bromeliad dragon has returned. I hope that is the way you say it. Bromeliad, Bromeliad. We have missed him. We missed him last year. So he's back. He's usually in China, but he's not there every year. And it's incredible. I think it's when they have it, it's a real treat. And there's the pandas. Panda this, garden. This there. is their second year in a row. And it's is it the year of the panda again? I don't think so. Usually they, whatever the year of whatever it is has been here. Well, clearly it's the year of the panda at Epcot. So well, <laughs> I don't and know. what about the Yo the uh, zodiac? Oh, the zodiac uh, animals are not there at not this point, yet. but they're but they're always there. So I expect that they will be. And there is the Odyssey with flower plants. Very nice. I I just think the the flower the uh, the floating planters make a really nice touch. And we're looking at the the flower quilt we've already seen again uh, with flowers and butterflies. Very very nice. Very colorful. But we're going to be checking out the other flower quilt, which isn't quite as far along, uh, still filling in in just a minute. Although we'll see Spaceship Earth first, which I totally forgot <laughs> well, no, about. <laughs> this, this area will have something. It will have that, something, not those the, flowers. Right. But this still looks beautiful. And this, yeah, you're right. This still need, is not uh, as filled in as the, the other one. Right. And it's the same theme. It's just uh, not, as, not as colorful yet. They're watering the flowers as we speak. They have to grow. And there's Spaceship Earth. Thank you for joining us. Thanks again. And uh, less than two weeks, it starts. Flower and Garden Festival. Can't wait. <laughs>